Hello, welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Chelsea Nichols. I'm 27 years old and I live in Oxfordshire in the UK with my boyfriend of five years, James. We've actually been together six years in November and we live in a Tora caravan full time. We've been living in a Tora caravan full time for one year now. 2nd of July 2022 is when we moved into our caravan and it is now the 5th of July 2023 today so we have gone past the one year mark. I actually want to carry on my caravanning series so I did do when I started my channel last year I did a caravan tour, a campsite tour and then I did like a tutorial kind of not a tutorial I was just showing how I changed the toilet which we have to change every couple of days and then I stopped it and moved on to other things that I felt were more important and probably more relatable to people but now I have decided to move back into the caravanning series so I want to kick it off with why we are living in a caravan in our 20s because I think that is a question that we actually get a lot so I'm just gonna pop this headband on because I need to do my makeup. I'm running errands today. One of those being that we need to drop off our washing to his mum and dad's house because his mum does our washing for us. Unfortunately, tour caravans don't come with a washing machine. They come with absolutely everything else. We got an oven, a fridge, a freezer, a toilet, a shower, etc., etc. but we don't have a washing machine. You can get a portable washing machine or you can go to the laundrette we have a laundrette down the road but his parents are also down the road and his mum is happy to do our washing for us and i think while she's happy to do it we'll just kind of pay her to do it and it's cheaper than paying for a laundrette but also it makes me feel more comfortable that it's somebody in the family that is going through my underwear <laughs> and not the laundrette looking at my thongs so <laughs> although i do think in the laundrette you do your own washing but still just the thought of somebody potentially picking up my box <laughs> so let's get into the video as i said i've done a caravan tour i've done a campsite tour and i've done like a demonstration of how we empty the toilet so i've got the grim bit out of the way so let's actually start with our relationship because we didn't always live in this caravan so we've been together five years but six years in november and for the first two years we just lived with our parents and because he was working full-time and i was studying full-time in uh, uni we only saw each other at the weekends and we were like a 40 minute drive away from each other so we literally would just see each other at the weekends and then after two years we decided to live together and we found a two bedroom masonette to privately rent and the landlords were absolutely amazing like the best landlords you could even think of having they literally would say to us on a regular basis you know this is your home they would they never referred to it as like their property it was always referred to as our home and if they needed to come over for anything they would always check first they would always let us know they would always like they'd be up to date on everything and yeah they were just absolutely amazing landlords honestly we privately rented that two bedroom masonette for three years and on the third year our neighbor who also lived in a two bedroom masonette that was owned by the same landlords so our landlords basically owned two masonettes next door to each other so we were in one and then we had a neighbor next to us and the neighbor ended up moving out when the new tenants moved in, the landlord said to us that they had actually increased the rent. And this was at the time that all of the prices for everything were going up, like electric was going up, gas was let going up. And they needed to kind of take that into account. At the time, it was quite frustrating because we'd been there for nearly a whole three years at that point. We'd always, you know, paid on time, we'd never missed payments. We kept the place like immaculate we had cleaners come once every two weeks so we always made sure it was clean and tidy and that was something they always commented on about how like good we left the place um to the point where actually you weren't allowed to have children in there and they said to us if we wanted to have children um, like 
try for a baby and, and raise a baby in there, they would actually be happy because they can see that we respect the property. But because they were having to pay more bills in their own home, it then made sense that they needed to increase the bills or the rent, should I say, where we were, because that was gonna make up for what they were having to pay extra where they lived. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. So they increased the rent for the new tenants living next door, but then because they owned the one that we lived in as well, it wouldn't have been right to charge them more, but keep us on the same. So they increased our rent. We were paying 795 pounds a month, which is actually very, very cheap in the area that we live in for a two bedroom property because others were kind of charging 950, 1000 a month. We got like extremely lucky finding this place. It's a funny story, but I'm not gonna go into the funny story of how we found it because that's not what the video is meant to be about. So when they increased the rent, they only increased it to 850 pounds a month, which was still below what other two bedroom properties were being charged at so 850 pound was still less i am actually in debt i am 18,000 pounds in debt from a bank loan that i took out like four years ago so four years ago now i borrowed six and a half grand which was for surgery and i don't regret that because i did do a video talking about my debt like how often i borrowed how much i borrowed each time the interest rate what i regret what i don't regret stuff like that so I'll pop that in the link in the description box below so you can watch it if you want to. But I think because it was ridiculously easy to borrow money, every year that I then was like, oh, I need more money, I need more money, I would just go straight to the bank loan and borrow more money. And I've now got up to £18,000. So it's going to take me seven years to pay that off. Every time I borrow more money, I increase it back to seven years. So by now, I should have been like halfway through paying it off. But I'm back to seven years again. So if I don't borrow any more money now, I will be 35 by the time I've cleared my debt. So although the rent was increased to still below what you would expect in the area that we lived in for a two bedroom property, I am in debt and I pay nearly £500 a month now as repayment. So I pay like £468. Imagine all that money I could have in my bank doing what I want and I'm paying it to a bank loan. But it's my fault, I gotta be, you know, responsible for my own actions. So anyway, I don't know how we ended up finding out, but we found out that somebody we knew, his brother was living in a tour caravan on a campsite in the area that we lived in. And this was somebody that James went to school with. So James went to school with both the brothers. And we ended up having a chat with him and he is now one of our like close friends such a good guy like such a good guy and he actually has a new girlfriend now and i got a bit tipsy and i said to her he's so pure he's so pure i must have looked like a right nose so we came to the campsite last year in the summer and we sat down with him and the neighbours on the campsite, most of them have actually left now to go and do other things, but we sat down on the campsite with him and the neighbours and we had a chat about what it was like to live here and what it was like to live in a caravan. And it was just the vibe that we were looking for. Like we were looking for this homely vibe with like happy neighbours and it was just absolutely perfect. We also met the landowner and he was happy for us to to move as soon as we could. So I think we gave in our notice to our landlords. It was like one month. And then we moved in here on the 2nd of July, 2022. And it's now the 5th of July, 2023. The reason we moved into a caravan was for two reasons. The first reason was because our previous landlords had increased the rent. And although it was still below what you would expect to pay in that area for a two bedroom property, the electric had still increased, the gas had still increased, the water had increased, the council tax had increased, everything had increased, so it was adding up. The second reason that we moved into a caravan was because of my debt. That was why we moved into the caravan. This is James's caravan, he bought it, so we don't have to pay rent for the caravan, we literally are just paying rent for like the land that the caravan is on, and that is it. So, it is exactly what we need. 
I am actually thinking about doing another video talking about how much it costs to live in a tour caravan. So in that video, I can go over how much we pay for rent, gas, electric, water, Wi-Fi, because that is something you're gonna need in a tour caravan. You are gonna need a good Wi-Fi and ours is good to say the least. So I'll tell you what one we use, how much it costs us. I think that is actually probably quite an important video to do after that i might do like a 10 things we wish we knew before we lived in a tour caravan that's kind of what i'm thinking the next couple of videos are going to be so that is the end of this video those were the two reasons why we decided to move into a tour caravan and why we have been in here for a year now thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video where i go over how much it costs to live in a tour caravan or at least from our experience how much we pay to live in a tour caravan thank you and i will see you in the next one bye